All right, let's take a look now at election 2014 and the 11th congressional district Republican battle between incumbent Kerry Benavolio and challenger David Trott. Congressman Benavolio is involved in some legal skirmishes with a former staffer, and while Trott's ads are running, not everyone is thrilled that he's touting himself as a job creator. And I wanted to talk about this this week because I'm really seeing a lot of the ads, and this is, this, is, this race is heating up. Plus, the, the two of you got into a little bit of a battle on social media this week about an article that ran in the Detroit Free Press talking about Dave Trott's background, yeah, essentially. Well, well, I mean, this is a guy who saw the foreclosure cr crisis, identified uh, growth opportunities, right? Biz things that would come out of that that he could specialize in and made millions and millions of dollars off of it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not illegal. Uh, it's, it, you know, there's nothing, there's is, nothing in the canon of ethics just, for lawyers. That's not quite accurate either. He's been in this business <laughs> for years, yeah, for well, decades. He also he developed didn't some see things. the mortgage crisis and say, aha, he's been in the mortgage servicing business for years. Right, and, but some of the things that he was doing, he did develop specifically did, after the foreclosure he, crisis. Did, Dave Trott uh, did not foreclose on a single home. Well, no, he didn't say he on did. The home. It's like blaming divorce attorneys for a marital breakup. Uh, he's an attorney. This is what attorneys do. And he has created a tremendous business out there and an awful lot of good jobs out there. And if his business and his people hadn't serviced these mortgage foreclosures, somebody else right. would. But there's, yeah, there's, but no one, there's what, nothing opportunity. But there's what's, also, what's wrong, what's totally wrong with a, What's wrong with a, a, a big background piece, though, on, on who Dave Trott is? Because yeah. I would argue well, that not many people do know who he is. Well, it smelled like a, a cheap shot, a manufactured scandal here, and there was not one thing in that story that suggested unethical no. behavior, what it, illegal no. behavior, what it or suggests, that he was exploiting anyone. No, but well, but what it suggests is that he's profiting off other people's misery. Oh, and that's, so, well, I, what lawyer does is that, that is that, that lawyer does, is that somebody, does that disqualify well, you? I mean, but he's not just a lawyer, he's somebody who's also, running for the he, U.S. House. He also does deed, uh, uh, House closings, yeah. deed service, yeah. whole lot, whole range of other businesses. Right. He, but he's made, but mortgage. he's gotten wealthy but off got, of this you, foreclosure thing. is full thing. of lawyers who have done the same thing, uh, who have profited out of people's agreed. Misery. But that he's is running. Most, but he's running for Congress here, and we did a story that showed who this guy is. Well, that's Steve, all. Pick a congressman here who wasn't in the law. All right, well, as you can all see, of them you know. Uh, and uh, all of and somebody's miserable. Thad McCotter, John Conyers, John Dingle. Uh, there's we have John Dingle was a lawyer. When name somebody else. Congress. Name somebody else in our delegation okay. who's done something like what Dave Trott did. All what right. did Dave Trott do other than run a law? Profited off of a clients. lot of people's and we're financial gonna, misery. And gentlemen, That's we're going to have to leave it there. The <laughs> we're going to have to spend a whole show on this 